Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today let's do a very quick tutorial on downloading fonts into Design Space. I'm telling you, you're going to become addicted to downloading fonts once you figure out how to do it and the easiest and quickest way to do it. All right, so first and foremost, open up a blank window in Design Space and then also open up a tab for your internet browser and then you're going to put in this website. It's called defont.com. I'll have it linked in the description of this video. So if you forget, you can just click the link down in the description and it'll take you to the homepage of this. Okay, I've already said this before, but I'll say it again. Once I show you how to do this, you are going to become addicted. The hardest part of my job every single day that I do a new theme is picking out a font because there's millions of them. So we're just gonna pick any font that's up here. It doesn't really matter. They have, again, millions. You can just spend your entire life scrolling and like finding all these cool new fonts. So pick one, anyone, doesn't matter which one. Oop, I like this, Alice in Wonderland. Don't have that one. Okay, all you're gonna do is come over here to the right and press download. It's gonna get saved into my downloads folder in my computer. I am gonna find that folder. I am going to open up the TTF. Okay, so this little window right here will pop up. All you wanna do is press install font. Then on the MacBook, you have this thing, it's called font book. I save it down to my bottom portion on my computer right here. And it's just going to load up into this thing. We're gonna go all the way up, what was it called, Alice? And it's gonna be right here. So now this is saved into our computer. Going back over into design space, if you add in a text box, we'll just put Alice, make this big, and you go over here into fonts, and then into your system, because this is where your downloaded fonts will be. And if you put in Alice over here in the top left, there it is, right there, and there is your font. It is that simple. Okay, a little bit of troubleshooting. If you download a font, and when you go over here and you put in Alice and nothing popped up, go up here into view, and then do a force reload, and then after you do the force reload, you should be able to add in your text box, and then go over here into system, search whatever font you downloaded, and there it is right here. So that's only if it didn't pop up the first time, which obviously mine did, but it just in case that is a troubleshooting for you. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to make, and I will see you later.